Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this DIY Merry Christmas sign for my little planter pot in front of my apartment. In Cricut Design Space, I went ahead and chose a free image that says Merry Christmas. I was going to make my own and type it up, but I liked this one instead. For this Merry Christmas sign, I know I wanted it to be silver or metal, and I didn't have time to order any sheet metal, so I wanted to test out to see if I glued aluminum foil to cardstock if the Cricut could cut it out. Well, for my first attempt, I just used a little bit of Mod Podge and stick glue, and as you can see, it did not stay on. As it was cutting, the aluminum foil was pulling away from the cardstock. It didn't even stick, uh, which makes sense. So the second attempt, I made sure I put enough Mod Podge and that every single piece was stuck to the cardstock. My second attempt at cutting this out went a lot better. There were just a few pieces that came up, so once it was done cutting, I then glued those pieces back onto the cardstock. I will say though that this did work out in the end for at least what I was going for. However, I do not have the right tools, like the blade is not the blade that you would use to cut sheet metal, um, so it didn't go all the way through. As you can see, I had to use my X-Acto knife to try to get the rest out. When I was looking for the Merry Christmas cutout, I saw these other Christmas decorations that I thought were super cute. So I decided to cut these out as well and put them in my window for a little Christmas window art. So I glued the Merry Christmas letters onto blue cardstock and I just did not like it. I thought that the blue kind of clashed and it didn't make the silver pop. So I went over the blue with a Posca or Posca paint marker. And does this look familiar? That's right, I used this in my last DIY video where I made a DIY welcome sign for the fall. 
The other decorations that I used for this garden fence is this big Christmas bow and red tinsel that I had. This is actually from the dollar store that I went to when I lived in Colorado. And I put it together and this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I think it turned out so beautiful.